Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making a spinach lasagna. Great vegetarian dish, one of my favorites. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave your comments down below, and let's jump right in. So over here I have some uh, ricotta cheese mixture, and I will show, I will include the video of how this was made. I have chopped spinach. The chopped spinach I had left, um, I just bought ch frozen chopped spinach. Left it in my refrigerator overnight. Make sure you put a plate or a bowl underneath to catch any water. It was still a little bit frozen today, so I put it in the in the strainer. I ran a little bit of hot water over it just to frost it. Squeezed out all the water and ready to go. I have some mozzarella cheese. I have three eggs. I have some seasonings and some breadcrumbs and some lasagna noodles. I have a pot of boiling water over here and I put maybe a tablespoon of salt in there. Uh, I'm going to get the lasagna cooking right now. I'm going to just drop this in. Should always separate them that way they won't stick hopefully. I mean, I'm not a minute or two they will get soft and I can push them down. The lasagna noodles, I don't cook al dente. I actually only cook for about six or seven minutes and they will finish cooking in the oven fine. The reason why I only cook it for six or seven minutes, when you cook it fully, even al dente, they have a tendency to break up and it's harder to work with than the lasagna. Cook them for six or seven minutes and they're, they'll be perfect. So I'm gonna take my mix and add my spinach to it. I'm gonna add my seasonings. I have a salt, pepper, and granulated garlic with three eggs. I don't know if I need all this cheese, so some. Put my breadcrumbs in and give this a good mix. If I didn't mention it already, I always leave the, all the ingredients down in the description below. So if you want a shopping list, uh, exactly what you need, uh, that will be down in the description. So, so our lasagna noodles have been cooking for right about seven minutes. I'm going to take them off. If they're in a strainer, make sure you put something underneath to catch the water. We we're going to come over here and we're going to put together our lasagna. I have a Pyrex, which is, I believe it's about... 13 by 8 approximately. I'm using Barilla sauce, tomato and basil. And what we're going to do is we're going to line the with this stuff so you guys can see. Try to drain all the water. Hold that thought. So I have three lasagna noodles in here. Now I'm going to put some mix in here. This is just some water, just a bit of bit warm water. And I'm going to just wet my hands. What that's going to do is the spinach mix will not stick to my hands. I'm going to kind of just flatten this out. Next thing we're going to put a small amount of mozzarella on top. You don't have to go nuts because there's already mozzarella in the spinach mix. But a little bit. Good. Now we're going to do some more noodles. And now we're going to put some sauce on top. So I just added a bit more sauce. Like I said, you definitely want enough sauce so it's not dry. And then we're going to do one more layer of spinach. So once again, very, very thin. We have our second layer of spinach mix. And now we're going to do one more layer of noodles. And now we're going to put some more sauce on here. By the way, somebody had asked me if I actually use Barilla for my catering business. And the answer is no. Um, for my catering business, I go through 10 to 15 gallons of sauce every week. And I make my own sauce. But for videos and just making one item, Barilla is perfect. I, I actually use Barilla in my home. So now we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese. So we have our cheese on top. I'm just gonna put a very, very light sprinkle in the basil. This just makes it look a little nicer on top, I think. So not for any other reason than that. Next thing, so I'm gonna be cooking this right now, covering this with plastic wrap. 
So my I'm gonna also be covering it with aluminum foil, but so it doesn't stick, I put plastic wrap down. The plastic will not burn in the oven. If it touches the uh, shelves a little bit, it will kind of just singe right where it touches the shelves. But if it's tucked underneath very well, you'll be fine. Just don't push down on it. The aluminum foil will not stick and the plastic wrap will not stick. I'm guessing this is going to take right about 50 minutes in a 400 degree oven. I will show it to you when it comes out. Uh, one last thing, I'm putting this on a sheet pan as opposed to directly in the oven. Sometimes when it gets very hot, the sauce bubbles up and goes over. The sheet pan will keep it from making a mess in your oven. So I am putting it on a sheet pan. So you lasagna has been in for right about an hour. I'm gonna go take it out now. So all the cheese is melted. We should get a nice burst of steam when I lift this up. Steam. And that's done. So I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna put it on a plate, and I'll show you what it looks like. Thank you. So our spinach lasagna is done. I put it on a plate so you can see how it looks like. I actually tasted it, it tastes delicious. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Definitely leave your comments down below. Have a great day, be well.